what is going on hey how are you welcome 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 come on in. welcome to the work session today sorry that i'm late but i was actually at work working right right so welcome 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 come on in comment and let me know that you are here say hello and where you are tuning in from today welcome 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 we are going to jump right in i hope you guys are having a fabulous day how are you how are you welcome 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 if you are tuning in via youtube give me a hashtag youtube if you're in the study hall right now give me a hashtag study hall if you're watching the replay give me a hashtag replay if you are tuning in on any of my facebook pages give me a hashtag fb welcome come on in guys come on in thanks for tuning in all right purple pinkers let's get started i hope that you guys are having an awesome fantabulous productive day it's me it's lashawn janice fresh from vacation and the most awesomest birthday that i have had thus far i am your branding and live stream production coach i collaborate with entrepreneurs and small business owners like you to produce branded virtual events i have a team of interns and moderators that are trained to implement excellence through visual design for various collaboration projects hopefully some of my purple pinkers are in this work session today and if you are looking to be a purple pinker give me a hashtag purple pinker and one of my admins will reach out to you to let you know how you complete orientation and get stamped purple pink. Lesson, we are about to dive right in right now. You are in the study hall by Purple Pinkin in the work session with yours truly, LaShawn Janice. And this month we have been focusing on super duper awesome fonts. This is our third work session of the month, I do believe, but this month has gone by so fast because I've been celebrating my birthday and also doing a lot of soul searching and things that I want to do for you to make this study hall better and to make work sessions more productive for you. So I've been working on a lot of things, collaborating with my husband, getting some info from my kids, just to make things awesomely better for you. But we are going to finish out this font this month. Um, today, we're going to be talking about font combinations. So I want to give a shout out to everyone that is logged on right now. Even if you're watching the replay, I really appreciate you. I want to give you an applause right now. All righty. So Someone's in the study hall, yay, wonderful. If you are not tuned in through the exclusive Facebook group study hall, make sure you go, go, go right now and join my Facebook group. I will add the link in the comments and hopefully, boom as well as my contact information so that you will be able to get exclusive study hall and work session guidelines in the Facebook group. Thank you all for joining me today. So what are we talking about today? Today's work session, we are going to talk about font combinations. And our objective today is to understand what font combinations are, what fonts work well together, and for what design you can use font combinations for. Believe it or not, we see font combinations all the time. It goes with each brand. As we've been speaking about, brands each have font families, font combinations. They have a brand font. Everything to make your brand, your business, your product stand out from the rest, right? I just posted earlier today an awesome blog on my ladymedia.blog. If you all didn't know that I had a blog, now you get an exclusive peek into what I actually put on my blog. It goes hand in hand with the study hall, hand in hand with the work sessions. And I'm also working on a special work session workbook 
so that you can take notes. Yes, I still take notes. Do you take notes? I actually physically take notes in this black notebook that I have been going through over and over and over again. Over my vacation that I spent over the last couple of days, I finalized the work session workbook so that you will be able to take physical notes at each and every work session based on how I actually write out my work session, right? So I'll give you guys a sneak peek of the cover. Are you ready? And yes, it's print. Study hall, work session, workbook, yay. Okay, so I am almost done. I'm doing the final edits now, and this workbook will allow you to have it open while you are tuned in into the work session and take notes so that you will not forget and you will be building up resources that you can always go back and read and share because sometimes you just can't remember everything. And in each training and in each work session, I am here to equip you and what is the best way to do it, but then to have a workbook that you can go to every time there is a work session taking all of these notes. I thought about you guys. I thought about you. Okay, so that work session will be available the workbook will be available via PDF download as well as a hard spiral notebook copy for all of those people that actually need to physically write things down and that may not have their own printer. That'll be available soon. If you are in the study hall Facebook group, you will get a special coupon code. So join the study hall and you'll get that coupon code. But let's dive right into font combinations. If you missed any of the previous work sessions about fonts, no worries. Don't worry. As soon as you join the Facebook group, all of the sessions will be right there, as well as on my YouTube channel, LaShawn Janice, Purple Pinkin. Go find it. Subscribe, like, and comment. By the way, have we shared this work session? Did we tag a friend and say, hey, come listen? If you haven't, now is the time to do so let's dive right in. All right, sharing my screen. We are going to my blog, Lady Media Blog, and we are going to talk about 10 beautiful font combinations for all of your design needs. But first, a moment to thank my sponsors. I am a proud wearer and purchaser of Enough. I want to say Enough. I call it Enough Cosmetics by my lovely friend, Dominique Crawford, The Scent Plug. Go follow her on Instagram. She is selling these matte, oh my God, matte lip glosses. Let me tell you, I've been wearing this shade all day. I put it on about 8.30 this morning. I had Chinese food for lunch and everything, and girl, it's still there. It works through the mask. It makes your lips nice and moist. So thank you, Ina, for sponsoring this work session. Yay. Okay. Boom. Moving on. I was sharing my screen. Boom, boom. All right. Share screen. And we are going to... Ten beautiful font combinations, and we're ready. Let's go. Here we are, purple pinkers. All right, we've had ten beautiful font combinations for all of your design needs. When you log on to ladymedia.blog, I just posted this about three hours ago, so you can see it um, on my blog, ladymedia.blog. And it is a very nice, long, detailed blog about font combinations. And incorporating multiple fonts into one design, is, it's not as easy as it may sound. But it makes things so super sophisticated in any of your graphic designs. This includes your logos. This includes your flyers. This includes even, oh my goodness, you guys are amazing. Okay. I'm getting like wonderful gifts today. I, I love y'all. Okay, so this includes your poster, your website. Oh, website, font combinations, majorly important. Hold on, let, let, me, let me cut to this real quick. 
Have you ever been to a website and you're like, I can't read this? Why are all the fonts everywhere? Did they copy and paste and not make all of their fonts the same? Does that not annoy you? Have you ever seen that? That is because they did not check their font combinations. So remember last work session, we talked about the different types of fonts. We went through each major font type and we talked about in order to get the attention, you wanna use display fonts. I want you to take notice of the fonts that I'm using in my blogs, especially because it's a lot of information and I'm going to most people just skim through it. You want to use the right fonts to draw attention to the right things. Boom. Let's head back. OK, so let's get right into it. I'm not going to go through it all. We're going to get to pairing fonts together so that we can make our own signature logo font. We're going to do that. Yes, we are. In about seven minutes, I am going to teach you how to use fonts in Canva and make your own signature font. Now, everyone sees my signature font. I use it all the time. LaShawn Janice, it is a signature font that one of my interns created. But I'm going to teach you how you can make your own because I'm actually updating my signature font. And we're going to do it right here, right now in the work session. All right. So these are some tips and some tricks that you can follow to ensure success with your font combinations. Complement or contrast. That's a big, big thing. Do you want your font combinations to complement each other or give you a drastic contrast? Sometimes that contrast is needed to make a point, but don't distract your point. Make sure that the font at the same time makes your point. So you either want to compliment and like, oh, that go good together. Or you want to do a contrast because you're trying to make a point. Everything's intentional when it comes to graphic design. That means you have to intentionally think about the mood. Remember, we talked about that last month with um, colors. Everything is about the mood. Everything is about the tone. Everything is how you want the person to look at your product or look at your blog or read your book or look at your cover. Everything has to work together, right? So the ideal combination should harmonize without risking being too similar. So you want that contrast, but you want it to complement at the same time. Like I told you, this is tricky business, y'all. It's not easy, right? Equally, two different fonts should and could be in danger of pulling your design in the opposite direction. So you have to be very, very selective about how you do that. The idea is that if you get the combo right, the viewer is almost unable to notice what you've done. You want to be so good that they don't even know that you didn't put this font combination together to prove a point. That subconsciously, they already understanding what you're doing, right? So when it comes to font combinations, the golden rule is this. Listen, everybody. And you see how I have this bolded, right? Complement or contrast, but never conflict, right? That's very important. So you can keep it in the family. Um, the most straightforward way of guaranteeing that a font pairing works perfectly is by using different fonts in the same typeface family. Now, if you don't know what a typeface is, you don't know what font family is, you want to go back and take a look at work session from last week because we spoke all about font families. So that's a matter of using Arial at a 12-point font and then using Arial Narrow at a bold fate 10-point font. That's the same font family. Just changing up your bold and italics or maybe just your font size, but you're staying within the same font or typeface family. Let's move on. Now, mind you, throughout this blog, let me show you, there are blue links that take you to ways that you can download these fonts that I'm discussing for free or for a very small, 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 small fee, right? I always hook you up, right? I always make sure you got what I got, right? I also give complete font families already there for you. I'm not going to make you think. I got it all there for you. Remember, opposites do attract. As with colors, 
fonts do attract too. So sometimes you want to put together that display font with a script font just to make it jazzy. Sometimes you want to put a sans serif with the display font just to prove a point, right? So sometimes opposites attract. Make, most times it makes it look really, really good. And this is where the whole signature logo comes into play. Signature logo will use a script font with a display font because your signature is that personal touch. Remember last week we talked about how that script font gives that personal touch. But then at the bottom of your signature font, you want that display to tell people what you are, what you do, what you're known for. So, and we're gonna work on mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do mine as an example because I think that everybody should have a signature font. Put your personal touch on everything that you do. Mark it, claim it as your own, right? That's what you wanna do. Sometimes you have classic type of font combinations where you're going to put a sans serif with the display font classic. You ain't doing too much, but you're saying it all at the same time. So let's look at some font combinations right here. I gave it all there for you. And these are actually names of fonts that are somewhat already into... They're in Canva. Some are already in PowerPoint. Most of them are already previously uploaded into uh, software like ProPresenter, Adobe. Some of these fonts are already installed in your computer, already in your Microsoft Word. They're already there for you. A lot of people use Post on My Wall. These fonts are already there for you. And sometimes when you look at templates, you'll see that they've already had their font combinations already in there. They've already done the work for you. But at the same time, when you get past using templates and you start creating your own and you start to elevate and get more creative and you start to let things in the juices flow, you want to have this base foundation of understanding what fonts go together and what fonts don't. So these are custom fonts. Now, as you can see, we've got the Oswald font. That goes good with Open Sans. The permanent marker, which is a sort of script font, goes well with this basic classic Sans font. Now, also, and you know, if this is like, I don't know what you're talking about, go back to the last session that talks about font families, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But this blog is live right now. You can go take a look at it right now i'm posting it in the comments right now so that you can get it also throughout the blog there are ads that you can go to to go get free fonts and download them all these fonts that i'm talking about you can go download i'm not going to go through this whole blog because i actually want you to go out and read it but let's go through the most best Beautiful list, if that was ever a word, combinations for all your needs. Once again, this is an example of how the font families are used and how the font combinations are used. You have your bold, then you have your text that makes it easier to read. Do you see how easy it is? Okay, we know the Futura, that is a subject, that is a headline. Then your paragraphs are something that is simplistic, not too jazzy, so it's easier to read. You see how we have a bold with a non-bold. That's very important. All of these are classic um, font combinations to use. It goes into detail. And I know um, a lot of these fonts are already in Microsoft Word. If you're working on a workbook, a journal, take a look at this blog and just, it may help you get some insight on what fonts you actually want to use. I'm just going to scroll through. There goes my one of my signature font, Montserrat, and I say these all wrong. Y'all don't, I'm, I'm not the best at that. I do not use Montserrat with Courier New. I do not. Um, I often use Sans, Source Sans Pro. So instead of using Playfair Display, I will put the text of this with my Montserrat font. Um, and you can play with it. It's based on what you want. It's based on your brand. It's based on 
how you're feeling, and of course, the tone in which you're trying to get people to kind of fill you out. So it's based on what you want. This is just a great, this is my favorite way of depicting wonderful font combinations is you have that super uppercase bold Maserat, right? You've got it there. It's defining. It's great. And then you have that nice little soft script. This is a classic look for me, this one right here of font combinations. Go check it out. Go check out this blog. So I've got other blog posts, five reasons why everyone needs a professional headstock. Can I take two minutes to go off about professional headshots? I'm going in. Here we go. And then we're going to do our logo. Listen here. I'm not trying to be funny. But everyone needs a professional headshot. I know it's COVID. I know we all don't have the funds that we need. But these $1,200 phones do wonderful, magical things. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All you need is a nice backdrop. Hit that portrait. Hit that photo if you got an iPhone. And snap away. Headshot is here. Okay? Full body shot is full body, half shot. Listen, let me let me just let me pull this up. Let me also put this into the comment section so that you're able to read this so you can get some help. I'm starting to get flyers and I'm getting these headshots to put on these flyers, and it's downgrading the graphic design ability because the headshots are not high quality. Now, remember, if you're taking a headshot off of Facebook, you're already downgrading the quality of the photo. So it's very important when you get dressed, when you say, oh, I look good today. Ask your kid, ask your loved one, ask your spouse, ask your best friend, ask a stranger on the street. Hey, can you take my picture real quick? And remember, the more you get, the wider your shot is, the more the graphic designer can work with. Now, there's apps now. There are apps, they filter, they do all these wonderful things, and that's great. But sometimes these filters do not work with graphic designers. So remember that too. Amen? Amen. Let's move on. I'm going to put this um, professional headshot in there. I think I took two minutes, and that's what I wanted to do five reasons why everyone needs a professional headshot and just know if you have an iphone if there's an eye before any device that you have you can get a professional headshot if you ha are paying on your phone currently you can get a professional headshot using your device i said it yes i did that's why they made them let's move on Let's go to Canva and let's start making our signature font. Listen, if you know someone that will benefit from this information, go ahead and tag a friend right now. At sign, tag a friend, tell them, hey, 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 you need to know this information right now. Invite them to join the study hall so that they can have this premier information for every work session sooner or later, very, very soon. Work sessions will only be open to those in the study hall and the group will be closed. And it will be public for everybody just to see everything. So I have also extended access to the Kingdom Visual Vault until May 1st, it was my birthday. I decided don't take it away yet. So I'm giving it to you. Until May 1st, you can sign up. Um, just go to my website, LashawnGenies.com, click on the button that says freebies and sign right up. And what is in the vault? Oh my gosh, it's so many things in the vault. Lower thirds, graphics, loops, welcome videos, promo videos, templates, overlays, girl, it's everything. So let's get to making my signature vault for the signature logo for me in Canva. 
Why do I do things in Canva? Because I do things in Canva. It's easy to use. It's the base for all design for me. Before you spend your money and start getting Adobe and things like that, learn Canva first. When you learn Canva and you get good with Canva, then it's time to upgrade. Before then, don't do it. Not yet. Not yet at all. All right, let's go. Share my screen. Um, what is this called? Adding a heading. Okay, here we go. All righty, guys. Let's go. So here we are. We are in Canva right now. I have already selected um, logo size in Canva. And we are going to do this in three minutes. And I will open up two minutes for questions, even though most times y'all ain't even got questions. So it's all good, though. I love y'all anyway. All right, so I am a virtual event production coach. That is what I want to stand out. That is what I want to be known for in my signature font. My signature logo is not my business name. It can be. But in this case, it is my name. I want to stamp my name. It's almost like somebody saw me like, oh my goodness, you that girl that be doing the YouTube and be teaching people stuff about media on Facebook. Yes. Can I have your autograph? Yes. I am autographing what I do digitally because eventually I'm going to digitize my knowledge and I want this signature to be known around the globe. So this is my logo for me as a person. Sean Janice, this is what I'm known known for. This is what I want to be known for. Let's stamp this. That's what a signature logo is to me, right? Okay, so I've got my name. I've got two different fonts here. They're not very jazzy. They're both the same font, just in a smaller size. Do I want to keep this font, family? I do not. I want to use a script font. Let's head on over to the fonts and let's pick and let's actually type in script. You see how it pulls up all of these scripts that we could use? Yes, it do. And we are going to pick one. Let's see what this look like. Mm -mm, that's too fancy, but let me make it bigger to see if I really don't like it. And I really don't. Let's try, let's keep going. Okay, let's see what this look like. I've seen that script font a lot and I don't like it. Is this Amsterdam? I start to know the script. So this is my current, um, this is my current signature logo. It's Amsterdam 4. And that's why I picked Amsterdam because I know that is my signature font um, right now. It is in a goldish gradient color. And that's cool and all, but I want to change it because I've seen that now. So I'm not going to use any of the Amsterdam. So this is Amsterdam 4. There's Amsterdam 1. Ask you. Amsterdam 3. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, okay. But I'm already in the Amsterdam family. I already have a signature font in the Amsterdam family. So I'm not going to do that. Let's see what this, what is Miss, Miss Truly? Miss Truly. Okay, that's more of a handwrite script type of thing. You see how I'm just playing with the different fonts to get exactly what I want? I like this to be bold. I really do like that to be bold, but I think I am going to want, um, let's see, is Laura in here? Yes, Laura. I like this font. It's softer. I also want to add an effect on this that will make it, give it a little shadow, give it a little depth. Let me bold that out. Let me space out the letters. Okay, yes, it's coming together. Excuse me. I kind of like that a little bit. 
I would make it a little bit smaller. I'm still not satisfied with this script font yet. So I'm gonna keep moving. I actually, let me change the color. Change this background color. Now let me actually make this white. I do like to do white on black. It just helps you see it a little bit better instead of black on white. I don't know why, but for me, it just it just makes it easier to see. So we're getting there. We're almost there. Let's see handwriting. Now, mind you, I am in uh, the Pro Canva right now. Um, and so I have access to some of these pro fonts, right? Actually, oh, let's see what cupcakes looks like in this. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. I like that. That's kind of cute. Let's see what else. What do we got? Does this look familiar? This was in the blog. This font type was in the blog. So I'm actually going to go with, because I'm going to open it up for questions. Oh, no, that looks like a little kid wrote that. Mm-mm. That's a little thick. I kind of like that, too. Oh, Gloria, hallelujah. We're going to go with Gloria, hallelujah. No, that look like a little kid, too. They ain't had to give hallelujah like that. They ain't had to do that to that font like that. But that would be great for a kid font. Um, That'd be really good for a kid font, actually. So, listen, I could play with this all day long. Making your own signature font in mm, I kind of like that too making your own signature font in Canva and if you want something that's not a script you could do that too absolutely let's see what elegant brings us oh oh that's nice okay that gives me like, that's almost like a calligraphy pen. I kind of like that. But then that doesn't match this display font that I used. Doesn't match it at all. You see how you can just go back and play with things over and over again? Make sure it looks right to you. That's all it is. And make sure that you're comfortable with it. <clears throat> I think that's... All right. Hmm. What y'all think? Who that was on wrong pie? What y'all think about that? Let me check my comments. Um. Hey, Miss Lola. Hey, Evangelist Edwards, how are you? Good to see you on. Appreciate you. Okay, I kind of like that and I kind of don't. But if I was satisfied with it, what would I do? <coughs> Download it. So important. Transparent background. So important. Don't forget that. Your logo should have a transparent background. Any logo, script, icon, words, picture, transparent background. Highest possible quality ever, always PNG. If you get other versions and other formats, that's excellent too, right? Excellent too. 
I really, I'm kind of digging this a little bit. I would play with it a little bit more. Download it. Boom. Ready to go. <clears throat> what happens when you download white text on black background for a transparent background? Did that make sense when I just asked? Yes. How I have it right now, the font color would be white. The background would be transparent. So initially, when you open up this picture, you might not see anything. Watch this, because the font color is white. If I wanted to change the font color to purple, the font color would be purple. If I wanted to add it to be gold, it would be gold. But because it's white on black, because I want to see it differently, just know that you may not be able to see your font if you want a white signature. So you would change it back, change it back to black, change your background to white, and that way you have a black signature, right? And animated signatures are the best. And if you finish your signature logo in Canva and you shoot it over to me, I have interns that will animate your signature logo to make it seem like you are actually physically writing out your signature on a video. Oh, how creative is that? This is a handwritten signature logo that we did using font combinations in Canva. I just taught like three different things all in one. This will set you apart from everybody else. You can use this signature logo on your website and then you can build, you can build your font brand based off your signature logo. So then I would know that this is called the something, the something script. And then I would use Nexa for my text. So then I might build Nexa for my website or even my social media designs. What goes good with Nexa? My signature will always be the something script. And then I'll build my brand font off of using Nexa because that is coming from my signature logo. Do you guys see how all this is coming together? Maybe, maybe not. I hope you guys are realizing how this all comes together. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Did you guys like that? I see you guys like that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do you register on Canva? Very easy. I'm going to put the link. <clears throat> um, I am going to put the link in the comments. I'll also add the link to the Facebook group. So I'm hoping that you are a part of the study hall so that you can get access to Canva. I teach Canva all day, all the time. It's a great resource for you. Thank you for asking that question. And they do have a free element to Canva. I would opt to go for the pro because you get more elements, you get more use out of the software. So I would get the pro. I was operating on a pro. If you want to save any design with a transparent background, you have to have pro. So I'll just go ahead and get it. So um, I'm going to put it in the comments right now. Get on Canva. There you go. You can get on Canva and you can start right now. I love Canva. I use it all the time. Um, I taught a class on making your own lower thirds in Canva. So Canva is a great resource. I also use Adobe Suite, Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, I do Premiere. I do use those things for my motion graphics. But sometimes when I want something super fast and super easy, I'll log right on to Canva. I made this frame that you're looking at right now in Canva. Um, I also have the app, so I am able to make social media images right there on the fly, import images from my phone right there on the app, and it syncs to the online um, website as well. So go and log on, go check it out. Um, 
Thanks for asking that question. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate you all hanging out with me. Let me check and see if there's any other questions. <clears throat> hey, YouTube fam, what is going on? Okay. Hey, Cassandra, how are you? I haven't talked to you in a while and I'm still waiting on my bonnet. I am still waiting on my bonnet but that's okay. Hello, Pastor Foster, how are you? Good to see you. Um, when am I doing the StreamYard class? Uh, I need to really do the StreamYard class and trust and believe I have written it out. It is at this point, three classes um, that I've written out thus far to teach StreamYard production. That means that you can do exactly what I do for pastors, apostles, church organizations, authors, podcasters, small business owners, entrepreneurs that are using this awesome software called StreamYard to stream live. I'm using it right now and I'm streaming live to three different platforms and that is why it is so awesome. And I absolutely love it. It has great um, engagement for viewers. So I am looking for more producers to help me out with some of my clients because I am really pitching StreamYard, StreamYard because I absolutely love using it for myself. It's extremely easy. So now I am training people that want to learn how to produce custom StreamYard live streams. Ooh, that was a lot. But I want to train because it is definitely an asset that can be used for different ministries throughout the globe. There's enough room for everybody. So I need to train, train, train. So I am working on the class now. I know that there is going to be a price tag on the class. Not sure how much it is going to cost. Um, I do not believe that I will be doing the class on Facebook. It will probably be via Zoom. And um, that's all I have right now. I'm hoping to launch it in May because I do have events June, July, and August that will be using the StreamYard platform as well as the brand live platform. So I'll be training on that as well. So I'm working towards that. My May is extremely booked already. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fit it in, um, but definitely working on a StreamYard class. The best way to get access to my classes is to be in, to be connected with me on my website so you get my newsletters, theshawngenies.com, as well as get into and meet me in the study hall. I post in there things before I post it anywhere else. So that's how you can stay in touch with me. Do you need common knowledge to do StreamYard? No. Anybody can learn StreamYard. That's just how easy and user-friendly the platform is. So if you're interested in joining the newsletter, give me a hashtag newsletter. If you're interested in becoming a StreamYard producer, hashtag producer. If you're watching on the replay, give me a hashtag replay so I can make sure that I follow up with you and make sure that you are tapped in to everything that I've got going on. If you want this work session workbook, yes, it'll be coming out very soon. Give me a hashtag workbook and I'll make sure that you have the coupon code. The vault is still open, ladies and gentlemen, only for a couple more days. It will not be free after May 1st, I promise you. So you want to make sure that you are tapped in and you have access to the Kingdom Visual vault with shawngenies.com backslash freebies. You can sign up on the study hall site. If you want me to send you the link directly, give me a hashtag freebies and I will send it to you or my interns will. If you want to be a purple pinker, listen, I am looking for purple pinkers, interns, aspiring graphic designers, people that just want to learn. Give me a hashtag purple pinker and I'll sign you up for orientation. Next orientation classes do start next month and I do not open up orientation that often because I am busy training others. So orientation will start and the first orientation will be 
next month. So if you want to sign up, if you want to be a purple pinker, and that's basically code for do you want to make some side hustle money? Do you want me to send you projects that you get paid for based on the quality of work that you show me during orientation? Put purple pinker in the comments right now. Give me a hashtag purple pinker. I will make sure to connect with you. I am over my time, ladies and gentlemen. I do not like to go this long, but we had so much fun. I'm so glad that you guys tuned in tonight and this work session was completely, honestly, off the cuff, for real, for real. But I enjoyed sharing this with you. Listen, I don't see any more questions. Let me make sure I don't see any more questions. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, watch the replay. It's all good. If you have access and you're in the study hall, you get access to all of the work sessions. Don't forget, like, honestly, send me a DM, send me an email. I will connect with you. Um, if you're catching this on the replay, you can still post your questions. I will go back and view them. Um, you can inbox me. You can email me purplepinkpro at gmail.com. So if you have any questions about graphic design, live streaming, branding, any of the coaching classes that I have coming up, I really enjoyed sharing this with you guys. And I trust that it was very helpful to you. Continue to have a great day. I look forward to connecting with each and every one of you in the near future. Our work sessions are going to become more of what you need. So tell me what you want to talk about next month. I'm working on those work sessions right now. So tell me what you want to know about so that we can dive right in. Each and every month, there will be a focus point for the month right here in the study hall by Purple Pinkin. Work sessions with LaShawn Janice. I have really enjoyed you all. Remember to do it in excellence or not at all. Until next time. I love you guys. I'm out. Have a good night.